a legendary institution of Kaohsiung High Society, continues to be a popular location in the port city, even after more than 50 years in business. The Western-style restaurant was founded in 1964 based on the menu of the U.S. 7th Fleet. Its menu of classic U.S. cuisine became synonymous with a fancy night out in Kaohsiung. Some viewers might remember it as the spot for a formal date night. Now under the leadership of third generation of owners, the restaurant is still delighting loyal customers and thriving post-COVID. A beefsteak more than 10 centimeters thick sizzles on the pan. When it's browned, it goes into the oven to bake on a low heat, coming out sweet and juicy. Some customers have been coming here for decades just for the famous steak. Oh, from school, from school. It started when I was in middle school. You know, it's rare for something to not change its flavor at all. I come here for this memory. Oh, it's so peaceful here. I've also been coming here since middle school. Then as an adult, I've brought my own children to dine here. The restaurant has been serving a menu of classic Western cuisine since it was founded in 1964. Once, it was a glittering jewel in Kaohsiung's social scene, the place to be for politicians, business people and celebrities, as well as families toasting major celebrations and lovers enjoying a fairy tale dinner date. Alongside the classic American burger menu, you can order starters with spectacular dry ice effects, luxurious seafood gratins and even garlic escargot. <laughs> When the water droplet rolls over the top, then the temperature is definitely hot enough. These plates made of galvanized iron are another tradition that makes the restaurant stand out from competitors. The plates and recipes are based on the kitchen of the U.S. 7th Fleet from the 60s. The cooking techniques have been updated since then, but retain the same aesthetic of American cuisine. Something we're famous for is the iron plate fillet because it uses these galvanized iron plates that were originally given to us by the U.S. Navy. My father ran the restaurant for 36 years and he realized that actually some of his ways of working didn't conform to the demands of this era. So he asked me if I wanted to take over. If I didn't, then perhaps our restaurant would have had to close. So it felt like a responsibility to me because I grew up here at this restaurant. Third-generation owner Chen Wanhong started his management training by studying in the kitchen. He's passionate about everything from ingredients to plating. And with the restaurant sticking to its ideals of classic luxury, it is going from strength to strength even after more than 50 years in business.